my oldest grandson, who's five years old, kept hollering, Daddy, Daddy, I love you. Over the weekend, a Racine man was rushed to the hospital when the family's holiday fun went terribly wrong. Our Racine reporter, Tahalil Mohudin, spoke with members of Justin Hayes' family who are advocating for safety. Fireworks celebrating the 4th of July is something Lori Lefevre tells me her family thinks about differently now. He kept screaming, I don't want to go blind. I don't want to go blind. Please don't let me. Lori says for the last six years at their neighborhood cookout in Racine, they've lit fireworks without incident. Justin went to light one of the fireworks and it wasn't really doing anything. So he bent back down. But this year was different. And it blew up in his face. She says a faulty firework left her daughter's boyfriend, 25-year-old Justin Hayes, with some serious injuries. He was bleeding everywhere. That's when her other daughter, a registered nurse, stepped in. I spoke with Nicole Lefevre over the phone. Working in the ER as a nurse, like it can prepare you for all the worst tragedies that come in from the public, but nothing really prepares you to see your family, you know, laying on the ground. She said the incident left Hayes, a father of three, blind in his right eye, with a broken nose and third degree burns on his fingers. His path for recovery still uncertain. How is he doing now? Um, his spirits are starting to get a little higher. Um, you know, he's just said that he's trying to, you know, like laugh and joke through the hard times. The family says it's the support of others through donations, meals and offers to babysit that's helping them move forward. We just have to count our blessings in different ways these days and um, really just thank God that, you know, he's still alive with us and he still has partial vision. They also say they're grateful that at least with some vision, Justin will still be able to watch his kids grow up. In Racine, Daniel Mahdeen, TMG4 News. Tahalil is our reporter in Racine County. If you have a story idea, send her an email. It's on your screen.